again. It's wonderful to still have you with us for more Explore Tulsa. So you just finished all your house remodeling. Yeah. When are you going to start getting your yard looking good, too? What do you mean getting my yard looking good? You know, like a fire pit, a koi pond, a little stone walkway. That'd make your yard really look amazing. Well, I wouldn't even know where to start. That's why you got me, Trish. First, we go out and visit Brad and Jody Porter at their place, Hardscape Materials. It is a little bit of a destination location, yes. We've been told that our pond department is probably one of the best in the nation. And we've visited a lot of places looking at garden centers, pond departments, stone yards, and we've tried to do it a little differently than everybody else. You know, we've probably been at this location for 25 years, probably. And we started out in a little lot in Sepulpa. Brad's father had a business, and we thought, well, okay, we're going to try it here. And we were in that little location off of uh, New Sepulpa Road for maybe a year. And then we quickly outgrew that location, and then Brad came out and scouted this location for us. Well, actually, uh, I was a stonemason for 15 years before we ever sold a stone, uh, mainly installing uh, stone veneer in the new housing industry. And in the uh, mid-80s, um, the style of homes changed from stone to a Cape Cod style with a lot of brick. So it kind of forced a lot of us stonemasons to move to Dallas or Kansas City or Tennessee to to lay rock and I did go to Kansas City and laid rock there for a while to keep food on the table. Um, but I still wanted to stay in Tulsa with my family and, and do my career here and so I hooked up with several of the local swimming pool companies laying uh, flagstone patios and waterfalls on swimming pools. Uh, but at that time there was really not a good stone yard in town to buy those supplies. So we were basically out there harvesting stone for our own own jobs. Uh, uh, that's when we really got the lot on uh, in Sepulpa to store the stuff and we decided you know with highway frontage there we might as well put up a sign try to sell the stones and and we slowly did and it, it grew from that actually. Early on we did focus mainly on landscape type uh, stone and materials. Uh, now of course we sell a lot of uh, veneer stone for the new housing industry uh, as well as pottery, furniture, uh, outdoor kitchen appliances, uh, plants, water features. We actually sell everything to, uh, for outdoor living. Well, it just kind of grew into it. You know, our kids uh, growing up in the business, uh, me and Jody talking about it 24 hours a day, you know, the kids grew up in it. It started with Brad and I, and then our son Wes is kind of one of the stone sales and he's a little bit of the operations manager around here. Um, our son Cameron actually works and helps with commercials and does signs and a lot of our advertising materials. Um, our daughter-in-law Jessica who's married to Wes is our bookkeeper and our office manager. They're having their third child in March so we'll have three little grandbabies that are around here and we we, it's a little strange at times when the babies are around here. We didn't really expect that for ourselves. We didn't really see us having little children, you know, in the office, but it's been a pleasure. Our customers enjoy it. Our customers enjoy seeing our grandkids and our children. And then our, my sister-in-law, Erin, Brad's youngest sister, she's the pond department manager. I always enjoyed laying stone and I still lay a little bit of rock, you know, here when we're doing a, a project or a display out here. Uh, I don't have time to lay all the rocks out here with our displays, but I still get my hands, you know, on a trowel and a hammer every now and then, still enjoy, enjoy doing that work. And it's not as physically tough as you think it is. Uh, uh, so, and it, it's not all that complicated either and we see some do-it-yourself work that just looks just as good as the professionals do. It just uh, takes a little time and a little motivation and anybody could build anything they see out here themselves if they have a desire to. 